Do you have any idea how Arlington got to be this way? No, I really don't. I don't have, uh, like I say, I'm just new here. I've been here a year. No, fíjese, que yo no. Proximity to DC because of the metro and the Pentagon, which uh, we have it right there. I don't know the history behind all the revitalization program that's happening here, but I can clearly see the benefits that it's having. What kind of changes have you seen? Well, I've seen the uh, the older homes being being torn down and they put up new homes, a lot of townhouses. One of the things I love about Arlington is that there are these little hip, urban kind of lifestyle, and then you can come three or four blocks off of that to where we live, and there are these lovely little communities where there are homes and families. Have you ever thought of Metro as a tool of transformation? Well, five decades ago, Arlington did. Before World War II, Arlington was a mix of farmland and new subdivisions that housed workers who rode trolleys to their jobs in Washington, D.C. Today, it is something quite different. How did Arlington change? Who were the visionaries who took a risk with Metro Rail and used it to reinvent their county? How did they do that while preserving Arlington's single-family neighborhoods? How did they convince people to get out of their cars and walk, bike, or use mass transit at a time when Americans were falling in love with the automobile? The answers to these questions may help other communities who want to reduce sprawl, reduce traffic, and shrink their carbon footprint. Transformation is slow and sometimes painful. Arlington's smart growth journey started in the last century and continues today. This is the story of that journey. Smart growth is a number of strategies and tactics relating to land use and transportation. You look at the RB corridor and it's a testament uh, can be a monument for, for smart growth. The corridors are the economic engines for Arlington. The traffic is lower today than it was in the 70s. Things that people are reading around the country, um, they will look to Arlington as examples of what can be done with rapid transit. We do field trips to Roslyn, Boston. The metro system is supposed to be in the median of the interstate highway, I-66. We almost didn't have it. A lot of places have metro and uh, don't have this. God love those pioneers, those visionaries back in the 1950s and to 60s. To think 20 or 30 or 40 years out is really daunting. We were confronted with the interstate highway system. Build enough roads to accommodate the cars. Something had to be done. Ruin the whole county if we didn't do something about it. <laughs> 